And it came to pass in the process of time, the process of time, God will give people um, of, uh, uh, opportunity to repent. God has given us as a nation, as a nation, a critical nation in Africa to change our ways, both in church and outside of church. He said that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. There's bondage in that land. And they cried and their cry came up unto God by the reason of the bondage, by the reason of what is going on in that nation, by the, by the reason of killing and um, abduction and ritual and just a, 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 a senseless, um, the, you know, value of human lives when human beings are not animals. People whom the breath of the almighty God are in their nostrils. People who are formed and made in the image of God. They come and then they mutilate them and they kill them. <laughs> and God heard their groaning, verse 24. The Lord we hear were groaning today and God will remember his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. The God had their groanings and God remembered. God will remember that nation. We cannot continue like this. If he said we should pray, really most of us, if I know we are not even in that nation, we are from that nation, but we are not located there. Why will God now tell me at about 4 30, 4 45 this morning to abandon what we want to do and to pray? It's because the timing is now. I was telling Pastor, I said, I came in red to make a statement to the enemy. 4 30 years. The enemy thought, thought the children of Israel will not get out of bondage. But one day came. When the cry came up to God as a memorial and God remembered, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's 620, 621. I mean, by my time, 21 after the hour, I will start our pray for 10 minutes. I will pass it on to Staye one day and I'll pack them to Staye one day and not so that we do it will be easier like 6:30. 640 or 40 minutes after 50 minutes and then yes hallelujah Amen. Psalm 124 verse 1 Psalm 124 if it had not been the Lord who was on our side now may Israel say now may the people of God in Nigeria say may the lovers of God in Nigeria say may the lovers of peace may the respect our souls and blood oh, by J.K. Rebosa of innocent people say if not for God that has been on our side if I not be the Lord, the service against it. who was on our side when men rose up against us, they will have swallowed us up quick. They are saying that they are everywhere in the bushes, in the rainforest. Who made the bushes? Who made the rainforest? Who can hide? Oh, my JK Rebel Satan. Psalm 129, Zeno said, Who can hide from the from the presence of the Lord, or is it one? What is that? One hundred nine, one nineteen. Who can hide from the presence of the Lord? Where can we go? Who can hide? Tell me. They said, even as I take the wings of the morning and go to the uttermost part of the sea, said that his hand will reach. His hand will reach out. He said, if I go, I love that. If I go into hell, let me tell you, his presence is there. He said, if I, I love, if I say, let darkness cover me. He said, both light and darkness, they are the same unto the Lord. Where can they hide? Where can they hide? 
Christ, lift up your voice and say, Father, fix them out, O Lord. Fix them out, O Lord. My God, all that are wasting the lives of people, Father, let them be wasted. Let them be wasted, my God. My Father, Lord, hey, the women like them, the women like them, my we have a reason. We have a reason to cry unto you. Masoto ye kerebo and say, no, this is no. No, this is no. My ye kerebo saka. Women, oh God, like a star, who say, if I perish, I perish. We have a reason to say, Lord. Oh, my ye kerebo saka. My ye kerebo saka. The enemy cannot swallow us up. They cannot swallow us up. Je they cannot swallow us up, oh Lord, because there's always a remnant. That is the remnant, my God, the remnant that you are going to build this new nation, a nation after God's own heart, a nation of beauty. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. Father, the cry of the people in Nigeria listen to you. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus, Father, as you arose and you came down, my God, to deliver your people from bondage, from the taskmasters. Oh Lord, ah, ah, small matter. That the Lord, the Egyptians, they had a room. They had horsemen, Father, Lord God of heaven. They had chariots. Oh, Masoto ye kerebo. They had a me. My God, and my king. They were small in your sight. They were small in your sight. My God, and my king. I pray, oh Lord God, for those who are hiding under the bushes, on the frame forest. My God, and my king. Meet them with fire. Holy Ghost fire. Father, Lord, you are the consuming fire. You are the consuming my God, my God, can send fire and the bush will not burn, but everything in it will be consumed. Ah, why? In a nation, in a nation, in a nation that you, my God, made, that you established people that you love, my God and my King. Oh, Masoto Yeke Rebosada, Makuria Baba, Father, I pray that you will tear them apart. My God, destroy them. Daddy, destroy them. My God, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. My father, my God, my Kerebosa Taba Baba Baha, my Kerebosa, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. But it says, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to the teeth. Amen. Uh, who has not given us a prey? They have been killing people. We know a lot of people, a lot, a lot. But let me tell you, when their own destruction will come, it will be in one the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus. What happened as the children of Israel they were moving in the Red Sea? They said, ah, this is even where we finish them. Look at them. That the army of, 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 of Pharaoh were really small compared to, but the children of Israel were helpless. They didn't have any boat, they didn't have any, they didn't have any. But God, who is still on the throne? My father is still on the throne. My Jacob Rebel and the blood of his son, and the blood of his son that speak better things than the blood of Abel and the Holy Spirit. My Jacob Rebel Baba Baba. We are going to cry unto the Lord and say, Father, 
We thank you that you have not given us a spray to the teeth. Let that teeth be broken. Let that teeth be broken. Ah, Jekerebo Sata. Oh, Makarabaso Baba. Let that teeth be broken. Let the teeth be broken. In the name of Jesus, the teeth take it from Samuel, whatever it is that they call it. Who is a killer of elephant when the killer of man is? My God, that can kill all the lion and the, and the owner. Who, who, who? Ah, let God arise. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. In the name of Jesus. He said, Why do the hidden rage? Why do they rage? In chapter two of Psalm, why do they rage? And the people imagine great things. They said they are kings of their descendants themselves in a rage. Let the let us break their bars and say, "Let us let the heaven to shall laugh." Hey, hey, the Lord shall laugh them in death. Ah, my Father, my God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will let them. You will put them to shame in the name of Jesus. Whatever you want. To do, my God, please do quickly, do quickly, oh Lord, do quickly, oh Lord, move, God, move, God, my Jekerebo, Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Six verses, sister, you want to please? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, because we know only you are God forever. Amen. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have great plans for this country. Yes. Father, Lord, you have not created anything just for creation's sake. You have created that Nigeria is still standing today because of your mercy. Yes. We know it is only because of your mercy. People have done worse, but their country is no more. But you have been so merciful to us. So I just want us to cry out because mercy, that the Lord will look unto us with mercy. That Amen. mercy will cover judgment Amen. over Nigeria. That Amen. mercy will cover judgment over Nigeria. But in, that the Lord, he said you have mercy on those who have mercy on. That we should be, we will be counted among those that the Lord will have mercy on. Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy on us in Nigeria. We cry out to you, Jehovah God Almighty. We have done so much evil. We and our fathers, we have done so much evil. We have done so much evil, Father Lord Almighty. We have done so much evil, Jehovah God. Father, we have done so much evil, Jehovah God. 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 We have done so we, the citizens of Nigeria, we are wicked. Oh. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Father, Lord, we cry out to you, Lord Yay. Almighty, for our people, for the sins of our fathers, O Lord. Let your mercy, blood of Jesus, let us cry for the blood, the blood that washes away sin, the blood, the only thing that the only thing that the Lord sees that he has mercy, the only blood that can atone, that the Lord will atone for our sin, that the Almighty God will atone for our sin, that he will have mercy and for us with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, Lord, have mercy upon us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that the Lord, hey! I pray for justice. That the Lord, the Bible says in Second Corinthians Chronicles, Second Corinthians seven fourteen, He said that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Nigeria is a country steeped in wickedness. Mm. and sing okay. and very proud people mm. Nigerians talk as if they own the world and they know what they're doing tomorrow but the Lord Almighty is the one is the only one that knows the next minute they, they use money they believe in money so much that they would do anything for money and they would believe money would buy them out yeah. it is pride the Bible says the, the silver and the gold are mine. The cattle on a thousand hills are <laughs> Lord, have mercy on the hearts, the proud hearts of Nigeria. The proud, we humble ourselves, we cry out. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. 
Nigerians are proud, the leaders of Nigeria, they, they have the spirit of Rehobo and the son of Solomon. They believe nothing can touch them. The spirit of Rehobo, what happened, he was divided from his hand. He was taken from his hand. And that is what is going to happen. Because it is the spirit of Rehobam, the spirit of pride, that the Almighty God will heal Nigeria. We are humble ourselves. There is nothing we have that is not to yours. There is nothing we brought to this earth that is being taken with us. We are not taking anything with us, Lord. There is nothing that we have that you are not giving us. Even the air that we breathe is yours, Jehovah. Father, take away the heart of pride. Nigeria. <laughs> To you. We need healing because we know that sin, you cannot stand sin. God cannot stand sin. He will judge sin. The Lord will judge sin. Have mercy upon us. We humble ourselves. Father, speak for so Lord Almighty your sin. Let us abort sin as a nation. Let us abort sin as a nation. Let us restrain us from sin on the streets. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy God Almighty. Only you, only you. Only you make care of heaven and earth. Only you can heal. Only you can remove sin from Nigeria. Only you have mercy upon us, O Lord. That's my name we have prayed. When, when King Rehoboam, because in my heart, it's just like when he was when Israel rebelled against him, when he was he, 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 he was living in a cuckoo land. He was living as if if anything he says, it's it, when they had, when the sin got to a stage, the Lord will push them away and he did his will. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the sin of Nigeria is getting to that stage. Hey. It's getting to that stage. When it happens like that, there's a there's a, an adage in my place. They said that when two elephants are fighting, the ants mm -hmm. underneath will suffer. Mm -hmm. Nobody even can fight with God. He will just deal with them. But when God wants to deal with them, it will affect even the very low people, the lowest of the low. The Lord, in your justice, mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. that it is coming. Mm. We know that mm. our leaders, they have the heart mm. of Abraham. Mm. They are surrounded mm. with people wow. like them. They are surrounded with people, myopic-minded people. They don't have people that have wisdom. That they are surrounded with wicked leaders like them, Father, mm. Lord, we pray. That you scatter them and divide them. Ah. And the only the voice of righteousness. Amen. In Nigeria, that all of them, even you just colliding together, advising one woman, teaching him to destroy his people. Father, because of their voices and destruction, that we don't know of them, oh Lord Almighty. Let's see what God Almighty. But you say they shall surely gather. Father, Lord, all these people gather. Father, bring your witness. Father, them, oh Lord Almighty. Let only your will prevail in Nigeria, my Father and my God. Let only your will and promise to prevail in Nigeria. Let the world be done in your glory. In the name of Jesus, we need to lead us in the right direction. We need to lead us in the right direction. Judge them today, Lord Almighty. Judge them today, Lord Almighty. Scatter them, Father, Lord Almighty. Father, Touch them, Holy the Spirit Father, of the living God. Arise on the people of Nigeria. Arise on the children that are still in the world. Arise on the because of the women that are in the world. Arise because of the people that are in the world. Father, judge this weekend. As they are judging the people of Nigeria. They are gathering in the wickedness. They are just like Nigeria. Leadership. You feel their own evil hands. 
about the nations the bible says that the nation they conspire Mm-hmm. They have to plot in vain. Mm-hmm. Tonight, they are doing APC crimes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's what we were watching. I've never uh-huh. seen anything as horrible as that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Adult men will come with their referendum and then they will say, We now bow and give it to Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Huh? They will now get up and say, We now bow and give it to our leader. Well, I met you. They're still doing it. They've not disputed. And we saw there is a conspiracy right now. Carabas. Oh. the plans of God. Oh. And when, Pastor, when I was looking at this, that I saw, I just said, Father, have mercy. That why do the nations conspire and the people plot? They plot in vain. Because mm-hmm. the king of the earth take their stand, the kings of the earth have taken away, while rulers they have come together. But against the Almighty God, it is only the plans of God for Nigeria that will prevail. Amen. It is only the only plan. plan. He said, The only Lord, plan. it was let us break their chains, they say, and throw their fetters. But the one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord blesses them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath. Saying, Amen. I have installed my king on Zion. Uh, it is only the will of God that will prevent Father, the will your will. That, your that, will. Please have your mercy will. upon us in this country. Your will. Have mercy your upon will. Upon God of your us. will. That you will laugh at them, Lord. You will laugh at them, Lord. And you will scatter them. And you will scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them. We will not be able to do nothing. We shall come to nothing. We shall come to nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. To Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mr. Mason. Mr. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pastor, before we continue, you know, this is a prophetic word that just came. Why you were, I was shocked because just coming into the meeting tonight, the Holy Spirit was asking me, have you sought the face of the Lord? He was saying, do you even know that if you ask me, I can tell you what the program is? Mm. And the truth, I never asked. I feel like this is not... Like God, you 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 will tell it to some particular people. But the Lord was saying, "Have you even asked concerning mm-hmm. Nigeria?" Mm-hmm. So I was shocked. I mean, not that shocked because I know this is how God deals with us in this meeting. Because yeah. here that we are just going to pray, it is just a prophetic moment. Because exactly, praise the Lord. And while all the prayers were going in, the Lord gave me three scriptures particularly that we're going to be praying with. But before that, we're going to sing to the Lord. Let God arise. Rise. Eyes and let your enemies be scattered. Yes, Lord. Holy God, 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 Holy God,
Proverbs 14. The Bible says, In righteousness thou shalt be established. We're going to speak to the Lord tonight. This is the word of the Lord. They don't have to him void. We're going to say, Lord, establish Nigeria in righteousness. The of the, of the people. Huh? I don't know what the what God has done. He turns from what God has done. He turns from what God has done. Establish this new mission. Establish this new mission. This new mission. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. Look at the moment. Two days of the beginning of the heaven. Establish this new mission. Establish this new mission. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Before we continue, calling sorry to cut you short. I'll try not to. You know, before you pass, so you said something that the Nigeria that God is establishing it will not look like this. The Nigeria that God is bringing is going to be a Nigeria that is establishing righteousness. That Amen. is why this prophetic word from the book of Isaiah chapter fourteen is very, very vital because it is upon this word that God is going to establish Nigeria. Let's pray to Him, Father, in the, in in this dispensation, Lord Nigeria, your Nigeria shall be establishing your righteousness. Yes. Let's continue. Yes, if you look at that same, that same verse of the Bible, Isaiah 5, 14, 54, 14, oh. it's mm -hmm. like you can actually bring out five prayer points. Mm -hmm. the, other part, the other part of the Bible said, thou shalt be free from oppression. oppression. This word, I tell you, mm -hmm. Pastor, I'm and fair. if you're following us online right now, I'm telling you this is not um, stage managed. Nothing here was planned. So everything happening now is real time. It's being directed mm -hmm. by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Hallelujah. I never, we never came in here prepared for any of these prayer points. So mm -hmm. this is led by the Spirit. Hear me. Amen. The Bible says that Nigeria shall be free from oppression. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We shall be free from oppression. This nation shall be free from oppression. We shall be free from oppression. We shall not fear. We shall not fear. We shall be free from oppression. Oppression of the evil one. As country, we still continue on that verse of Isaiah 54 verse 14. It says that Nigeria shall not fear. In this coming mm -hmm. election, I don't know what's happening. Even right now, there is so much fear because fear is a strategy of Satan. Fear is a strategy of the workers of iniquity to cripple the people. Look at what they're saying. People are saying now that they will no longer go to go, go to church because they don't know what churchness is going. I, my God, it is an error. It can never happen. The people shall not fear. Let's pray to the Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, my God. I pray, but we cripple with my We cripple the spirit of fear. It's the name of Jesus over the airways upon this platform. Of my God, we destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We 
You think you can scare the people of God? You think you can make the children of God Nigeria, we shall not fear. We shall we sh for thou shall not fear and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. No more, no more of their plan. We're going to pray that any of their plan, any of the plan, because Nigeria is going to be established in righteousness. Mm -hmm. All of the plan of the enemy, God, my God, it has to be the, the, the spirit of God will overshadow. Ah, the mm -hmm. Bible says God is known, his name is a father of spirit. His spirit is going to frustrate them while they are planning. They will not know. In fact, they'll be confused upon the camp of the enemy. Mm -hmm. ah, Rabaka, so let's lift up our voices. Rabba, no more terror shall come here. No, no more terror. No more terror. No more terror. No more terror. Oh, no. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. we are praying. Amen. 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 The second Amen. scripture that God gave me is from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. It says, righteousness shall exalt a nation. We're going to pray. Righteousness shall exalt a nation that God Amen. will exalt Nigeria, whatever name He wants to call it. My God, He will exalt us because of His righteousness. We are the righteousness of Christ. My God, exalt. Ah, exalt. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And because we don't have time, if you have time, you're following us online, please read Psalm 94. There is always a day. This was the top scripture the Lord gave me. Psalm 94, you can read from verse 3 to the end. It's powerful. What is happening in Nigeria is laid out here clearly. But there is a promise that we have in verse 23. It says, verse 23, and I read. It says, and the Lord shall bring upon the wicked their own iniquity, yes. and he shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yes, oh my God. the Lord, our God, shall cut them off. My God, God says the word of the Lord, and it shall stand forever in Jesus' name we pray. Name Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. That word is the closing word the Lord gave me. Pastor Ifi. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, what, what, what I love about God is the Bible is sure. There is nothing new. There is no single thing new under the sun. We always have a reference from his word. Mm -hmm. And then we know the end from the beginning. The Bible Hallelujah. says something in chapter 22. He said, for time, I just read uh, 27 so that you will see that it looks like Nigeria. Your leaders are like wolves who tear apart their victims. Mm -hmm. They actually destroy people's lives for money. Hey, hey God, please, which, yeah, which thought, text is which, that? I missed it. I'm reading Ezekiel 22. Ezekiel 22. Yes, from verse 27. Okay. Your leaders are like wolves who tear apart their victims. They, destroy people's lives for money and your prophets cover cover up for them by hey. announcing false visions and hmm. making lying predictions they hmm. say my message is from the sovereign lord when hey. the lord has not spoken a single word to them hmm. now see what i'm going to he now said even common people oppress the poor you hmm. see it's not just leaders so that the problem even common people Oppress the poor, rob the city, and deprive foreigners of justice. Mm. And he said, I looked for someone. Somebody. Hey, he built yeah. the wall of righteousness. He has found us. So. Ah, yeah. I am. That's why we are standing in the gap tonight. Yeah. He said, I look for someone who mm. might be put the wall of righteousness that got. Now, righteousness got the land. That's what the scripture is saying. Yes. So, we do the wall of righteousness that guards the land. I sat for someone to stand in the gap in the wall so I wouldn't have to destroy, destroy the land. But mm. I found none. Mm. This mm. afternoon, 
we have brought ourselves. He spoke to our mama and she has gathered us tonight. We have decided to be that someone that we build, well, we build the wall of righteousness because the wall of righteousness guards the land. And the angle I'm going to is we want God to give us a man after his mm -hmm. own heart. Amen. We want a man. Do you know why we need a man after the heart of God? The mm -hmm. Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 15, 1, he says, even if Moses yes. or Samuel yes. comes to plead to for me it. about this, if I won't listen, I won't listen. Yeah. God has respect for yeah. the pleading of Moses and Samuel. And I began to ask, God, why do you have respect for these two men? Moses rebelled the altar of God. He brought the law. Mm. And then Samuel was the first prophet of Israel. Now you can understand that this man, we are two major leg that God was standing up. No wonder he said, look, if Moses come here and Samuel come, I won't even listen to you. Hey. He on a normal day, he will listen to these two people. He means these people are in his heart. And the Bible says something in the book of 1 Kings 11, 1132, and first King 15, for he says, for David's sake, they, mm. they were all doing rubbish. But he said, for David's sake, I will not tear the kingdom. For David's mm. sake. So which means we need to tell God, we need a man. You will look on and say, mm, mess. So, 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 because so. of this. Mm. Mm. So on the premise of this mm -hmm. scripture, we are before him that we are going to say, Father, I receive the garment of intercession. Intercession mm -hmm. Is, is deeper. Intercession is like a woman Ah, in Jesus' name, we are still praying. Amen. To say, Herod exalted himself, mm -hmm. and God, by God alone, mm -hmm. caused him while he was still alive yes. to be eating. Yeah. That is the kind of God we have said. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. The Philistines felt they had it all together. Mm. And they carried the ark of the Lord into the temple of their God. Hey! That God. Yes. And the first night, God broke his hands mm. and they thought it was coincidence. Mm. The next night, he caused Dagon to fall and lie before the ark of God. We are mm. saying, 
Ah, Makosha, it doesn't matter who they want to put. Oh, God, Lord, we are saying over Nigeria. Everyone wants to bring God Almighty. Everything. Bring God Almighty. Bring God Almighty. We are not aligned with righteousness. With hey, hey, hey. Ah, hey. ah, hey. ah, hey. ah, hey. ah, hey. there is a man from the east calling forth a ravenous bed, a man from the east that performs the counsel of God. And we see Cyrus, a pagan king, sending Nehemiah to go and build up the walls yes. of Jerusalem. We are going to That's God. God. Mm. There is nothing you can use. Bed. Yes. I'm telling you. Out of darkness, you mm -hmm. call for light. You didn't mm -hmm. introduce light. Mm -hmm. In that darkness, you brought out mm -hmm. light. So mm -hmm. in that drama they are doing, mm -hmm. in this stage they are setting, that stage we walk against them. But we mm -hmm. work for the counsel of God. Let's mm -hmm. go on with prayer. You said, thank you because you're a god who answers prayer thank you that you sent us and we wait because you said you are looking for a man who is standing the gap we mm. here have this same and every other person to ah, that, right. that are praying today. My God, you have heard. Their call for wickedness have over, overflown. Oh, it's, it has mm -hmm, it has filled up. It has filled up. Mm -hmm. You know, I will tell us something as we when we share after the the closing word as somebody said i don't know i think we all have alluded to it psalm 7 verse 9 psalm 7 verse 9 oh let the wickedness of the wicked, of the wicked come to the heads let oh it was a cry from the heart yes. of the psalmist Oh, lady, when you see mm -hmm. atrocities, you see wicked men, people pray and cutting head. Me and this little, they just told me I can't watch. If not, for see one year, I be describing how that person was checking. Mm -hmm. I Same here. Uh -huh. Very vivid imagination. Then he said, "Oh, the psalmist must have seen the wickedness in there." Oh, he said, "Let the wickedness." of the wicked come to an end. And not that verse said, let the wickedness of the wicked come upon, come them. upon their heads. Upon yeah. their own heads. Yes. Upon their own heads. Yeah. So I want us as we start to thank the Lord that there's Amen. something after this time, I will tell us what the Lord said. So Amen. let's just thank God. That Father, Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful, we are grateful for this time. You are the one who called us. Father, Lord, we didn't call ourselves. 
we wanted to discuss something, but you say, come and pray. Say, because the prayer, the groanings of my people, they came up to me. Somebody was sharing. He said, for 430 years, the children of Israel, I think it was that due on Sunday, for 430 years, they'll say, when they want to greet each other, like Happy New Year, they'll say, next year in our promised land, next year in Jerusalem, you don't use mouth to call for deliverance. You use warfare prayer like this, where you stand in the gap by the unction of the Holy Spirit. So I want us to just thank God. Father, Lord, a new day, new dawn, a new day, new dawn, a new day, new dawn, a new nation, a new under Christ, a new nation born after God's own will, a new leader, Father, that we not see religion, we not see ethnicity, we not see uh, people of color, people of this, a, a man after God's own, life. Father, we thank you. You have led us to pray it out. We've prayed it for. You say the groanings of the day. The groanings of your people, they've come up to you. They've come up to you. Baba, they've come up to you. The groanings of the people of Nigeria, they have come up to you from the north to the Amen. south. From the east to the west, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.